What's up, street full people? I got called out. I commented on a flight test video. Six out of ten. You guys should fly a real toilet. Alex commented, okay, we'll do that when you make a real leaf blower fly without modifying it. Is that a challenge? Actually, you know, he's right. Last year, we did this. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Okay, okay, so basically, yeah, it didn't really fly very good. It made a lot, it, it didn't even make a lot. It just went down the runway and crashed. Good job, Sam, you broke it. It's a disaster. I have a bunch of theories on why it went wrong, but I have some fly test foam, which is a lot lighter foam than the poster board stuff I used last year. So let's go ahead and get started and build this thing. With last year's failures in mind, it's time to build something a little bit more better and efficient. So we're going to build a sailplane kind of glider airplane this year out of flight test foam board. It's a lot lighter, kind of stronger material rather than the aluminum used last year and the poster board. So I'm going to lighten out these spars, which is just popular. The airfoil selection is a lot more efficient too. It's a regular glider airfoil. And we're going to kind of make like a hybrid here to sandwich it together with this flight test foam board stuff. It's going to be a polyhedral wing and it's going to be a three channel airplane just to kind of keep the controls to a minimum. So it only has rudder and elevator. Now we're pretty much just gonna hot glue the leaf floor on top because it just fits really well. Add a servo for throttle control, and we're done. All right, so we're going to the airfield right now, and the plane, it's done. The plane is basically a glider style airplane with a lot more efficient airfoil. It's a lot lighter than the previous rendition of this. So hopefully that means it's going to work great. The good thing is, oh, oh no, I stepped on the, oh, I stepped on it. I was saying, the good thing is it's made out of this uh, flight test waterproof foam stuff, which is actually great because it's really moist out here today, so. I'm gonna go to assemble it and try not to step on it anymore. Before we begin, there's one slight caveat. The trigger on this leaf blower goes from zero to like 70. Oh wait, I took the battery out. It goes from zero to 70. The problem is, the pr problem is that I need 100% thrust. And the only way to do it is to touch this stupid button because these leaf blowers always think this is a great idea. So I'm gonna take this rock to it. But the problem is now we only have zero or 100. There's no in between. So it's gonna be full of power all the time. Super important tip to always remember. Check the center of gravity of the airplane. It feels pretty good. Bouncing about a third of the wing back. One third of the wing back. Okay, Sam, what are your thoughts on this airplane? Well, you said it will probably work, so meh. That is not a number, I want a number. Oh. One to ten. Seven. Seven, all right. Five. That's about what I'm thinking. All Four. right, you go ahead and, go ahead and eat it to the sky. Three. Two. All right, pick it up gently because you, you want to. Ah, help, help, help. The wind. Help. Help, help, help. I have like, oh, God, the wind. All right, you ready to go? Just go. Yeah. Stay for the sky. You're probably going to break. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's flying a lot better than the last one. Even with the wind getting increasingly more dihedrally. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Ah. Uh, it was definitely flying. The spar was a little bit too thin and the way Sam picked it up kind of pre-broke the wing a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, let's go probably have to build another airplane. Yeah, the spar is pretty nice. The spar is fine. Yeah, your crappy wing box design blew out. You told me to glue it with epoxy. <laughs> Sam! Man, is it windy out here today. The spars are both good. So the air quality seems to be cleaned up a little bit. And this thing is totally capable of flight because it just kept going higher and higher until the wind gust came and ripped the wings off. So this is totally going to work. We just need to rebuild the airplane again. Stay 
day two, everybody. We fixed the wing spar. There's zero wind, so Sam luckily will not be able to break it by holding the plane at horrible angles to the wind, trying to snap the wing spar in half. Oh, oh scared me for a second. I thought the plane was taking off. The freaking leaf board does not sound good. So hopefully we can just fly around and do one circuit because the challenge is the plane has to fly, do one circuit, land, and then Alex will have to make a toilet fly. Yeah. Well, here we go. Sweet Lord, stop that stuff. Uh-oh. He's dead. Uh-oh. Circuit board is bad. <laughs> Piece of crap. Freeze frame. Why did I eat the battery across the field? Um, it fell from 60 feet in the sky yesterday, hit the circuit board directly on it, damaged the safety cutouts in the battery. So the battery obviously won't work for the leap lower anymore. So we had to order a new one. The battery is 122 freaking dollars for that. All right, whatever, I just gotta order another one. <laughs> okay, boys, it is day three now. We have a new battery pack. I think everything runs. And now we're going to try again to see if we can make the plane do one circuit, come around and land. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Flying as well as it did yesterday. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh we still haven't gotten any farther. Somehow it's worse today. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> it's not done yet. I wouldn't be done with this project by now. Okay, let's see. That's still good, at least the lights and the LED are this still working, so I don't need to buy a new battery pack. I'm going to fix it again. It's another day. Hopefully we get it done this time because I'm getting real tired of it. This is exactly like last year. Fly, try to fly, crash, fly, crash, repeat. Want to blow my brains out. And then it finally kind of flies. But hopefully this year, we go further, far, farther, faster, higher than ever before. Altitude. Yeah, that wing is a little damaged. I'm just gonna try to make one circuit. All right, so we're halfway there. Oh, it's working. It's barely working, but we are flying a leaf blower. Awesome, looking good. Still going higher. Turning it off. Coming in for the landing with that really bent wing. Look out, Sam. Ooh, glides pretty good. <laughs> we did it, we did it. All right, yeah, you saw it, there it is. First flying stock non-modified leaf blower. Woo, let's fly it some more. So we're gonna put this thing on and I'm gonna show you how worse it's gonna fly because this is gonna restrict airflow and not make it better. It's definitely sinking a little bit. It sounds cooler for sure. Right, I'm gonna see if we get this flyby. Can you hear that? Yeah. It sounds awesome. 
Man, it still flies all right though. <laughs> That's awesome. It sounds super rad. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Let's pull up Griffin's head. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The world's first actual flying leaf blower airplane. Unlike last year's attempt, we actually made more than a few circuits, did some kind of mild turning stuff, landed it successfully, all on a stock leaf blower with no modifications whatsoever. I mean, I take the rock to the switch and a servo to the thing, but that's obvious. Let us know what you want to see us fly next, and as far as the, um, power tools go because we did a drill plane in this other video and now we have the leaf blur plane <laughs>